Hello and welcome to this first ever Totally Tooling Mini Tips with me, Matt Gaunt, and Adi Osmani. Hello. Um, and in this show, we're going to be looking at Critical Rendering Path, specifically CSS. Yes, so Critical Path CSS and optimizing it is all about making sure that the stuff that you're shipping down to your users makes sense for the current view, um, and that you're minimizing the number of blocking resources that might slow that stuff down. So. So the way that you'd normally do this for your website to find out how you're doing is if you go into DevTools, open up your network panel, um, select maybe like a network like a 3G or something, make sure you've got this camcorder clicked, click on record, and then refresh the page. What this does is it starts taking a set of screenshots um, of your website over time. So once it's all done, you get a whole slew of all these things. And when you double click on one of the images, you get to see what the first version or the first render of your page looks like. So here, after 283 milliseconds, I actually have something to the screen and it's got the important content there. Click through some of the frames. So we've got a bar here. That's basically saying that my asynchronous CSS has been loaded, the additional stuff, got fonts loaded in now. And then we get the images and it slowly comes in. And one of the things I wanted to do with this was basically find a way of, well, what happens if I removed all of the additional blocking CSS, well, no, the asynchronous CSS, the stuff that I didn't actually care about. And Paul Lewis turned in some code that I originally wrote into a really nice bookmark loop. And when you run it, it'll find any remote style sheets and just disable them so they no longer apply to the page. So here, this is what my web page looks like without that CSS. So if they only got the HTML with the inline styles, this is what it looks like, just the important bits. Baller. If you happen to have a build process using NPM scripts or Gulp or Grunt or whatever have you, um, I wrote a module called Critical that uses some other stuff like Penthouse. Um, and the idea is that basically um, you just throw the pages that you need to generate Critical Path CSS at this thing. It'll generate it for you, inline the CSS, and it takes care of a lot of the different um, repetitive steps you usually have to do to get this stuff set up. So check out Critical. Yeah, and it's also worth mentioning, if you wanted to learn more about this kind of stuff, Ilya Grigoric has written a super awesome set of documentation all about the critical rendering path. Yeah, Ilya also has a Udacity course that he's done about critical rendering that's pretty awesome. It's worth checking out. Yeah, which you can find under these shows on Web Fundamentals. Um, but we'll link to that in the video. Sweet. Thank you. Bye.